Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to teach you uh, a method for solving quadratics that always works. Um, but before I do that, um, I'd like to say that I am forever a slave to Jesus Christ. He's my king, uh, my savior, and my shining armor. All right, also, um, red marker, black marker. Um, okay, now, um, this quadratic, we can solve easily by figuring out what multiplies to 12 and adds to 7. That's 3 and 4, so we factor it as x plus 3 times x plus 4, and that equals 0, from which we get uh, the two roots or solutions or x-intercepts or zeros as being x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 4. So this is how you should solve this quadratic, but it's a nice example by which we should start the Babylonian method. Okay, so the Babylonian method always starts by moving this constant term to the right side. So that means I have x squared plus 7x is equal to negative 12. Okay, from here, uh, factor the two terms on the left side. That's if the leading coefficient is 1. I'll show you what to do in our second example when the leading coefficient is different from 1. Okay, so factoring these two guys, we see that we can write the left side as x times x plus 7, and that equals negative 12. And after this, the Babylonian method will have us draw a number line where we put on the left end the smaller of these two factors. That in this case is x, and so the other factor, the bigger factor, goes on the right. And then next, we figure out the midpoint of this number line. So uh, that is the average of x and x plus 7, and that's x plus 7 over 2. The next step in the Babylonian method is to take this midpoint, the average of these two guys, which is this guy, x plus 7 over 2, and make a substitution. So let's call it u. So I'm saying u is equal to x plus 7 over 2. Yeah? OK, cool. So then that means x is u minus 7 over 2. And x plus 7 is u plus 7 over 2. All right. And then we come back here and rewrite this step with the new names. Uh, specifically, x is u minus 7 over 2. So u minus 7 over 2 times x plus 7 is u plus 7 over 2. OK, equals negative 12. Now, one of my favorite algebra properties, if not my favorite period algebra property is difference of squares, which says a squared minus b squared is equal to, it comes up in so many places and it's so cool and useful, but it's equal to a plus b times a minus b. So that's exactly what we have here. And that's exactly what you should have at this step in the Babylonian method. Um, with u being a and 7 over 2 being b, when we multiply these two uh, using this, we should get u squared minus 7 over 2 squared, which is u squared minus 49 over 4, equals negative 12. OK, cool. And then next, um, or after this step, the name of the game is solve for u. So that means that we write u squared is equal to 49 over 4 uh, minus 12, which is 48 over 4. OK, so that means u squared is equal to 1 over 4, from which we gather that u has got to be plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4, which is plus or minus 1 half. OK, we're done solving for u, but what we want to solve for is x. So we recall what we said was u. So from this step, we replace u with what we know it is, which is x plus 7 over 2. So we go x plus 7 over 2, u is equal to plus or minus a half. Got it. And so then x has got to be negative 7 over 2 plus or minus a half. That is, x is equal to negative 7 plus 1 over 2. This is two numbers. One of them is negative 7 plus 1 over 2. And the other is x equals negative 7 minus 1 over 2. This here is uh, negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. And this here is negative 8 over 2, right? which is negative uh, 8 over 2, which is negative 4. That's exactly what we found earlier. Obviously, this is longer. Uh, so you don't want to do this for a simple quadratic like that. But it's a good way to demonstrate the Babylonian method. OK, next, um, let's do a harder example. Like I said, 
the Babylonian method works on all quadratics. So what quadratic should we look at next? How about this one? How about um, 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic is factorable. You can factor it using the AC method. I already have a video on the AC method, so I'm not going to show you the AC method here. But using the AC method very quickly, you could split the middle term. So I'm skipping steps of the AC method, but you can split this middle term and write minus 8x and then plus uh, 3x. Yeah, I hope uh, you're curious about the AC method now. And then group factor, group these two and group those two. From the first uh, two, I can factor out 2x. So I get x minus 4. And then from here, I can factor out from these two. I can factor out a 3. And so I get x minus 4 um, equals 0. Now from the whole thing, I can take out x minus 4. And so I write this. So the two zeros of this quadratic are x equals 4 and x equals negative 3 halves. Right? OK, cool. So we know our answer to this. That's what I wanted to do. But obviously, we haven't started the Babylonian method on this quadratic. This start is the same as before. Move this constant term to the other side. So that means I have 2x squared minus 5x is equal to 12. But now, because x squared is being multiplied by a number different from 1, we have to divide by this number, which is um, on both sides, obviously. OK? So x squared minus 5 over 2x is equal to 6 is what we'd get. And then from here, mimic the steps we did earlier. Just factor these two guys. So that would be x times, right? OK, and then our number line. Ah. No, sorry. Horizontal. OK, and then here goes the smaller of these two factors, which is x minus 5 over 2. And then the bigger factor is x, and then we want to know the midpoint. Now, I did this a bit quicker than number line earlier. But yeah, if you have a here and b here, the midpoint is their average, right? a plus b over 2. So what we have to do to find the midpoint is add these two and divide them by 2. So that means x minus 5 over 2 plus x divided by 2. That's 2x minus 5 over 2 divided by 2. That's 2x divided by 2 minus 5 over 2 divided by 2, which is x minus 5 over 4. Yeah? OK, cool. So the midpoint here is x minus 5 over 4. Got it. And then, like I said, we follow the same steps as uh, earlier. So um, rename this guy. Instead of u, I'm going to call it a here. And maybe it's hard to figure out what this is in terms of a. But this is obviously a plus 5 over 4. And we know now that this guy and this guy need to make a difference to square. So this must be a minus 5 over 4. Got it. So you come back here and rewrite this in terms of the new names. So x is a plus 5 over 4 a plus 5 over 4. And then um, x minus five, 5 halves is, well, yeah, the 2 lost its leg. Um, shoot, sorry. Um, my bad, guys. OK. But yeah, x minus 5 halves is a minus 5 over 4. So a minus 5 over 4 equals 6, right? OK. Multiply these two, like we said, we need to get a difference of square. So that's a squared minus 5 over 4 squared is 25 over 16 equals 6, right? OK, and then from here, solve for a, meaning a squared is equal to 25 over 16. And 6 is 96 over 16, right? And so a squared is equal to 121 over 16. So a is equal to plus or minus the square root of 121 over 16, which is 11 over 4, right? OK, cool. But a is x minus 5 over 4. So we go x minus 5 over 4 is equal to plus or minus 11 over 4, plus or minus uh, uh, 11 over 4. And notice we get common denominators at this step. And that happened earlier. That's a convenience that's automatic from uh, the Babylonian method. And obviously, then x 
from here has got to be 5 over 4 plus or minus 11 over 4, meaning x is 5 plus 11 over 4, and x is 5 minus 11 over 4. This says x is 16 over 4, or 4, and this says x is negative 6 over 4, which is negative 3 halves, as we found um, using the other method. Yeah? Cool. All right. This is it uh, for this video, and uh, I like to add messages to these videos, as you saw, and it's all about Jesus, really, for me. Uh, but yeah, uh, fear no one. Fear no human being. No human being or no group of human being ever ran the world. Jesus runs the world. Uh, so if you're not a believer, then at least believe in Allah, because being an atheist is arrogant. It means that you are the law. You know everything, which is really silly. No human knows everything. Yeah? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this, and take care.